Hey everyone, it's Cody from Sling and Lead, and I've decided before I go out again to make an introductory video on exactly how I've outfitted my kayak so far. I've taken it out on three trips into the bay, and I've caught some awesome fish. Right now I'm waiting on some more gear to come in the mail before I head back out into the bay. This is a Perception Aquaterra that I bought from a San Diego local for only $100. The thing that I find most difficult with this boat is just reaching aft for certain items, but other than that, it's relatively fast and it fishes well. An upgrade, though, is in my future for sure. There's definitely some nice boats out there on the market. The boat is just under 13 feet long. I have a small storage bay followed by a place for two small crates, two rod holders, and a clip-in seat. I've installed a total of six gear tracks with two 12-inch and four smaller tracks. I use two paddle holders on my left to hold my paddle while I'm fishing, and the right forward track holds a cell block with a 12-volt battery to power and serve as a mount for my Lawrence Hook 2 fish finder. This fish finder also has the switchblade arm from Yak Attack to deploy the transducer to easily start scanning. Lastly, I have a magnetic mount to hold a nice LED light in the front of my boat that I used to actually own. Remember that gear that I mentioned about being in the mail? Well, a replacement light is on its way because the last outing I caught a halibut which ended up flopping around in my kayak and it knocked the magnetic LED light off the mount that I had in the front of the boat while I was trying to take a picture. Lessons learned. Leash all my items that I care about. So I have a lot of clips, leashes, and cleats in the mail to make my future trips a little bit more secure. And this is what it looks like fully rigged up. Hopefully you found this video useful when thinking about how to prioritize certain items for a day of fishing from a kayak. You don't need an expensive setup, and some are really nice, but it's just about getting on the water and fishing. Once the red tide moves from the bay, I'll start to create my fishing content, so subscribe for notifications about catching cooks on different San Diego species, and hopefully me hooking into some giants. See you next time.